An 18th century Chinese vase has become one of the most expensive items ever sold in an auction after it was snapped up by a Chinese buyer for a cool £43 million. The extraordinary price, more than 40 times the sum it was expected to fetch, is a world record at auction for a piece of Chinese art and quite a windfall for the mother and son who found the vase on a bookcase as they cleared out the home of a dead relative in the London suburb of Pinner. Jane Deeve has the story. £10 million. £11 million, thank you, sir. £12 million is bid, thank you. Squeezed in among the wardrobes, sofas and ornaments of a hundred house clearances in the suburbs, an extraordinary auction. Bainbridges is selling a Chinese imperial vase. It has the seal of the Chen Lung Emperor on the bottom, which makes it very valuable, and it's attracted some big Chinese dealers. And there were probably ten people keen to bid 20 million, so there was no shortage of money in the room. Um, but after about 20 million, it probably reduced to three people, four people, and then to two people, as every auction does. Uh, so probably from 25 million, perhaps, that we were down to the two bidders, both of whom sat in the front row. Were they right next to each other? They were right next to each on other. On a sofa like this? Each on a sofa like this, yeah. Ooh, what was the atmosphere like? <laughs> well, it wasn't daggers. No, no, it all seemed rather friendly. Shall we say 31 million? It was all a new experience for Bainbridges, which until last night boasted one of its highest prices at auction was £5,000 for a thimble. Shall we say £42 million? The auction house say that 90% of the stuff that will come from a house clearance will be tat. But when they unwrapped a vase which had been sitting on a bookshelf in a house in suburban Pinner, they thought it might have potential they never could have dreamed that it would go on to break the world record for the auction of a piece of Chinese art. And the third and last time tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's £43 million pounds sold! <laughs> The man who came forward was the agent for a buyer in China. The sellers were the sister and nephew of the woman who'd owned the vase. Until her death, she'd given it pride of place on her bookshelf in Pinner in North London. So what are the chances the family attic could offer up a Chinese antiquity like those on sale at this London dealer's? But you know, things, there are things out there at 50,000 to half a million which do keep turning up, you know, Travellers, ambassadors, you know, we uh, trotted around the world bringing things back. But often they were spoils stolen from the emperor's summer palace during the opium wars of the 19th century. And now the Chinese can afford to buy their history back. Every year China imports half a billion pounds worth of art and the Chen Lung vase is the most perfect example. It absolutely chimes with Chinese taste as it is today. So the people who've really got the money, which are the rich Chinese, are, would just want this above anything else. If you want to make an imperial mint, your Chinese vase needs to have a blue seal on the bottom, which could be the mark of an emperor. But beware, many vases are just very good fakes. Don't forget you can contact me direct via Twitter at ChrisGM. We're back tomorrow at 6.30. Until then, that's Channel 4 News. Have a very good evening.